hungry. Bing. Bong. Bang. Thank you.
Um, Sheesh. Woo. Oh, couldn't hear myself. Could not hear myself. Nothing wrong with an old game bag every now and then. Yeah, well, I'm doing a lot of research for a video right now. So a lot of these games have been really standing out.
Let's see. All right. Okay. That track is so good. So, so, so good. Um, I think we're good to start. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> what? Huh? Guess we gotta wait for this. Let's see. Thanks everybody for being here early, for being here to at all. It means a lot to me. Uh, research for a video. Perhaps the video will be called Why Arm 2K3 Games Are Still Relevant. <laughs> Truthfully, the video is uh, on RPG Maker Communities pre-2010. And I want to make it very comprehensive, and so I've been working with a lot of people and playing some games and learning, reading some stuff. It's actually really interesting. It's really, really interesting. Because over the pandemic, uh, a handful of dudes from back in the day popped up on a bunch of different forums and like told the stories one in particular uh one one story in particular was about a community that was run by somebody and his mom and his mom was like not a great person and nobody knew that this was the case uh until 2020 when he came in and was just like yeah so this person was my mom uh and she harassed all of you online and she was kind of not a great person kind of abusive and stuff uh so i feel like that would be really interesting uh to write about and to maybe make a video about not in like a way that disrespects the guy it seems like they went they're like doing incredible incredible now but it's fascinating that this name from this community, this mo this admin from a website, she was a troll? Kind of. She... Let me see. I can find the thread. Um, basically, she... Uh... <laughs> oh, spooky. Uh, she was the admin of this, video, of this RPG Maker website. Uh, it went by the username Wishmoo. And then uh, her son, who was, uh, you know, pretty much got her into the, the hobby of RPG Maker, uh, they they basically started a community together and like, uh, it's pretty crazy. I don't know. It's hard to hard to uh, summarize, which I guess that's why I need this video. Um, it's good to know though that note rather that the son uh, does not do game development, but. Uh, you know, made it out of that and has a really nice, successful life for themselves now. Okay, let me see. I'm just going to pick one really quick to play first, and then... Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it didn't work. That's fine. Ugh. It really didn't work. Welcome everybody. Thanks for being here. This is we're gonna play this one first. It's called Bob's Big Adventure, but let me uh fix the window. I think in this game you play as this guy. Can it center there? Oh, that's kinda nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well yeah. Anyway, um, it's a it's a pretty crazy story, and uh, I think it's worth telling. I think a lot of those communities have stories worth telling, and I'm very excited to make that video. So, um, anyway, well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, good night. Um, welcome to another RPG Maker grab bag uh, stream slash video slash content on the internet. Um, and today I am picking up a ton of old games 
that I've been looking at as I've been researching this video that I'm kind of talking about or alluding to in this conversation now. Happy time zone, yes. I always forget that. That's a nice statement. This one is a 2K game called Bob's Big Adventure, and I believe it's made by a, a developer named Rast. But they made this game, Bob's Big Adventure. Whoops. Oh, I always do that. So, okay, so Bob's Big Adventure was their f first game, I believe. And then after it came Dragon Destiny, which was a pretty, uh, pretty, uh, I want to say infamous game because it uh, featured these maps that were massive. Like they, the Rast game put a bunch of different different tiles in one small tile set and then made huge, like gigantic maps that you could spend a pretty long time crossing. And I think the biggest problem with that game is just like the encounters are terrible. So it doesn't make it very fun to play. But uh, yeah. Let's check this one out first and do our thing. Wait, where's my control? Ooh. This music sounds familiar. What's it from? Uh, hell if I know. What's up, Yuck? Yuck on the YouTube. Yo, what's up, Rath? Rath, are you ready? Are you, are you are you ready to go on a big adventure with Bob, dude? Cause <laughs> that's that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yo, Riggy Diggy, dude, bro, what up? Yo. Oh, I don't know if y'all saw yesterday. Maybe I can bring this guy up. I don't know if you saw us yesterday, but DZ and I yesterday uh, pretended to be VTubers. Is, <laughs> if Bob is a Minotaur, then hell yeah, he is the Minotaur, bro. Uh, is it this one? Oh, no, it'd be a new one. Yeah, there he is. Look at my little guy. And then I just have to... I'll put him here for a little bit. He can hang out with us for this stream. Oh. I need the green screen thing. Chroma key? Is that what it is? Yeah. Look at this guy. Is he moving? He's not moving, though. Hold on. Uh, hello? No, nope, that didn't work. Hello? There it goes. Look at him. Look at him move. I talk, he talks. Okay, let's make it very small, so he does not interrupt the game. Okay, wait, is he not moving anymore? He's not moving anymore. This guy has a pain in my butt. Alright, let's just play Bob's Big Adventure, huh? Oh, one more thing I need. For real. We had so much fun yesterday. We played uh, Wobbly Life, which was like Grand Theft Auto, but like kid friendly and you're like a little minion looking dude. And it went pretty hard. It was pretty fun. I think it just needs more multiplayer. You need to have more people in, on at once. Makes it fun. Um. Okay. This is Mob's Big Adventure. Oh, I remember, I played this a long time ago. Like, I was a kid long time ago, man. Bob, the humans are trying to settle on this island again. I have a plan to get rid of them once and for all, but we'll need Blue Flame's magic to do it. Go get him from his lair in the woods west of here and return to me. Okay, I'm Bob, I'm just a random enemy. I'm useless. Oh, the guard. Hey, looks like you're naked. You might want to buy some equipment from the shops before you head out. You can save wherever you see a dragon statue. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta go west. I think this is just a silly game using RTP. This food tastes like crap. Thank you. I don't... Uh, I don't what... I don't what they're all complaining about. This food is great. We've had a hard time getting decent food since the humans started arriving. This food is bad enough to make one renounce evil. True. I love games like this, though. You know? Feel I'm beat. 
brains. Want to train? Surely. Yeah, oh yeah. Classic tunes, dude. I think this is from a different game, though. I think this guy's gonna beat me. Yep. Damn, you suck. You might want to check your equipment. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I love it so far. The mismatch of tile set is so charming. That's what's funny. The funniest thing about that is that this is just the RTP. This is just what comes with two, two, RPG Maker 2000. Except, um, you can tell by, I think, the hurry up and buy here in the, in the, in the shop text. You can tell that, that it was the version that was translated by Don Miguel. Weird little factoid for you. Um, this was certainly not made with the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the Steam version, you know? Hey, Bob, hard day? You can rest on your bunk. Okay, okay. Is this my bunk right here? Nice. Haha, <laughs> it's got that shitty old game look, lol. <laughs> True. It makes, oh. There's no drums for some reason in the, in the MIDI. <laughs> Remember, humans are normally very weak creatures, but once in a while you may encounter a hero. <laughs> Heroes possess awesome strength, and you should be careful not to underestimate them. Planning battle strategies against humans isn't as easy as it looks. Alright. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's an alligator. Oh, he's sleeping. Alright. Wait, we- oh! Wait, what do you have 30 seconds for? Maybe it said, but I skipped it. Thanks. We can't get to the, these towers very easily, so we have to fix them with magic. You could use a ladder. Hello. Oh, I definitely don't need to be here, I don't think. I think I was supposed to just go west. Yo, what's up, Gaster? Welcome in, brother. Forest of <laughs> It's it's a good one. You have no chance to survive. Make make your time. Wait, really? Make your time. Looking for blue flame? He lives in town. Be careful. We don't need we don't keep many sentries in the forest. Those pesky humans usually get lost and give up before they get all the way to the city. You might want to explore to the west and south before you head north towards Darkwood. Okay. Here you might need these. Oh, five potions, thanks. Is that the Halloween music for Halloween? It sure is. We can't save here? <gasps> it's a human! Oh god. He's he's wandering, just like <laughs> The select sound is probably the most- is the worst thing about 2K and 2K3. It's just so loud. Oh, we already lo we already died! We already lost. Okay. Listen, we, we know the plan now. We can do the speed run. Check this out. Uh... Wait, first we want... A, a hella sick axe and a hella sick wooden shield just a little one say your prayers Alec maybe next time <laughs> yeah now I'm tough as nails I'm the goat now I, I prefer XP's menu sounds but not as loud as this yeah these ones are so brutal I should honestly just make myself a pack of sound effects that you know, could fix that. Wait, can... I don't know if, uh... Easy RPG can fix it. You're not a goat, you're a bull ringy? Okay, yeah, that's true. That's fair. <laughs> it's easy to forget, okay? What's up, Gimmer? 
yeah, what's up, Jetrotal? Do you remember this game, homie? Do you wish to leave Castle? Yeah, sure. <gasps> it's a castle basement. And you're not authorized. Stopping in pre-stream. Ooh, are you about to uh, play some zombie games? Why is the music going? Do, 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 do. Jetro Tall, I'll have you know I'm playing all these old games using Easy RPG today. Oh! The Mage Tower. We're not allowed to be here yet either. <laughs> uh, I gotta go here. Trying to finish it before we rebrand as a BG stream. BG3 stream for the next two years until we beat it. Yeah, that's uh, that's fair enough. But that's awesome. I'm glad you guys are playing. Oh, no. Am I ready to fight this guy? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I didn't go get the the uh, items from the dude. Oh, that's easy. We just needed an axe. Who is um, a minotaur without his axe? Am I right? Sometimes you just gotta boulder some gates with some bros. You know, I'm gonna play the first one. Spit the Key gave me one. Uh, gave me a copy of Boulder's Gate 1. Uh, when is you? There's a way to fix MIDI issues by just pasting an extra file inside the game folder. Can you send it in Discord? Oh my gosh, please, anytime. If you can send it to me now, I'll definitely use it. Um... Cause I'm using, I'm just pacing the player and everything, so I can play, pace that in too. Yo, what's up, Harlequin? Uh, turn back before it's too late. Oh, wait, we gotta go to the left. Show them the gates. Your, show them gates. Your boulders, exactly. Uh. Hmm. Oh shit! What's up, homie? Whoa. Oh. Oh, bro. <laughs> he roared, dude. As heroes do when they game over. Sounds cool and useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been a hot minute for sure, dude. I haven't even been able to catch the podcast in a bit. I saw you guys were live last week. Oh, no. I'm going to get rocked here. I got to leave. I fled like a coward. Oh. Takes me back. That's kind of good, actually. That's kind of good. This really is the forest of despair. Oh, I don't want to be here. I want to be at my crib in the in the cave. Where? Oh. This game is so cute. It's just a. Uh, this this had to have been like Ray's first game. It's got snow roof. Sometimes the MIDI uh, glitching out is kind of cute, though. I'll be honest. Mm. Does the skeleton give me a? Does the skeleton give me EXP? No, it just murders me. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I do get EXP. Oh. Doesn't it does not heal me though. I still have to get to walk over here and just get a quick heal in. Send a fix my bro whenever you need it, place it. Oh, you're the man. Appreciate you. Just dot sound font. I'm gonna put this. I have a folder for Easy RPG, and I usually just copy that into whatever. So, just include that. Nice. Bob's Big Adventure gets the goofy. It 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 has earned the goofy midi though. The loincloth. <laughs> Protect your privacy, but not your life. Sounds good. Sounds like I'm going to be looking good in that, bad boy. Um, 
Maybe we can get a little... A little bit more skeleton action, perhaps. This is a, this is a good game. Honestly, I, I definitely played this as a kid and thought this was amazing. If I recall correctly. But the thing is, I... The problem with me back then was that... I would get... I'd play a game until I got stuck, and then I would immediately... Go into RPG Maker, I would open the game, I would give myself level 99, and then I would just go through the whole story. And <laughs> that was the kind of gamer I was. <laughs> um. Okay, back to the woods. Wait, can I say- I can save out here. With the timer, for some reason. Nope. Never. You'll never catch me. You'll never catch me. Oh, you caught me. That's literally me, man. I was... I was hacking the game. Giving myself level 99 so I could just see how everything was happening. And then I would just, you know... I like these better than random encounters. As long as I'm smarter than the AI, I can get away. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Take me out. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> the sound is so abysmal. Boy. Music's cool, though. Great picks. Love how silly this theme is for this place. When you play, when you start Dragon's Destiny, the second game, that uh, Rass made, uh, you actually meet Bob right in the beginning. So I think it's canonical. <laughs> I think the game is, uh, the games are a series. Whoa. Cause he's a, he's a bit more than, he's a, he's an NPC, but he's a bit more than, oh my. Well, we got this now. We're now OP and, Oh. Because we have the axe. Nope. Oh. Disrespectful. Uh oh. Oh shoot. I'm already uh, out of stuff. I don't even have enough money for- oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> I got a nose ring, dude. Nose ring? That's my helmet, is the nose ring. I put it on my head. I'm like pretty tough now. Though I have no health, so I have to run back <laughs> now. I have to run all the way back and heal again. Oh god! Oh, come on. Really? Really? <laughs> No, oh, from here? Yo, that's not cool. It's a forced encounter. <laughs> the nose helmet. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's leave. Okay, fine. You all got... Oh, yeah, you got the end here. And this... Oops. 50 gold? 50 gold? Oh, no, I can't go back. It's got a day and night cycle. Okay. Um, and that was all my money, so I can't buy any potions. Oh, my goodness. You got... Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of cool. I can sell all that stuff now. That night is not very nighty. Not at all. Thunder axe, you say? Nope, I just need two. I just want to buy two potions. <laughs> oh. 
At least it confirms that I want to leave. My mom's cute. She's reorganizing her house. So she keeps, she's been sending me pictures all day, dude. Very cute. Oh, uh, now we gotta go back. Wait, we didn't do anything we wanted to do here, I'm pretty sure. Mm, whoops. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Yeah, she's chilling. She vibing. Um, no music. Everybody's very... Uh, it's very dramatic right now. Oh, right. We have to go uh, find Blue Flame. We're, we're like super decked out with good good armor and stuff now. Wait, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna close this and we're gonna do this uh, quick fix. Let's see. Uh, uh, this, these, is these. And then in here. Okay, and hopefully this will work. I know DZ's mom has been on a stream, but has Riggy's mom ever been on? No, she's not. I haven't had a guest in a while that wasn't like a, a homie homie. DZ, when DZ's mom comes on, it's fantastic. She's such a sweet lady. This is serious. Turn back before it's too late. Oh! A knight! Oh, he's with the blue knight, though. He does not like my axe, though. I miss the janky songs. Oh! Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. R.I.P. to the jank. You shouldn't have given me the fix. You should have just let me suffer. Oh, come on. Three of them, dude? Don't take me out. Nope. Oh, they they trapped me in here. I didn't even notice that. Shit. <laughs> the wimps do. Oh, one damage. Okay. Come on. Alex Yick? Yo, me? What's up, Soldat? Are you saying that, that I look like that guy? Because... You're not wrong. Oh, I didn't want to run! Oh, shit. <laughs> uh... Okay. Let's go. Released. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. Great, thanks. Oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> A winner is me, though. That is fun. Oh my god, I'll hear that sound in my nightmares. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, well that was nice. Well, these guys are gonna cook me. Thank you. I should level up, yeah? Yeah, de de decapitation, dude. Oh my god. Come on. Can we cook them before they cook us? Perhaps. We just have to kill the mages first. 
I love these guys though. They want that Bob steak. True. They need that. I love that this is the song playing right now. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Come here, dummy. So I could fight you. I could fight you. Come on. Well, no, you stay there actually first. We could just do this with both of them. <laughs> Even the chest item sound is that. Oh shit. <laughs> uh. Oh, I should have hit him. Bounty Hunter is the only one that can do any. He healed? Bro! Stop! Whoa! Yeah, heal each other. <laughs> That's right. I'm definitely, I'm definitely an, a boss monster because I only have like one attack, or like not a boss monster, but just like a video game enemy. Oh, that's all. What? Oh, just stuff. <laughs> the Bob steak. Whoa! <laughs> Why are you running me so fast, dude? Let's go. Um, no, I don't have time. Do you wish to leave the forest of despair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Darkwood. That was weird. I think my audio cut out. Alright, now we're in the town. Maybe this town's haunted and that's why? Oh yeah, let's please. Well, I'm gonna wake up at night. I need to know what's going on. Yes, we will save. Something other than the Halloween OSC. Yeah, seriously, that that was kind of brutal. It feels nice to not hear the pierce from the <laughs> from the uh Oh. Um Oh my gosh. How's my day? My day's good. I've been out all day, so I'm a little bit uh tired from being in the sun. But it was pretty fun, man. Just went shopping. Exploring my city. I like to train at night under the light of the moonlight. And now it's nice to stream. I've been wanting to play some games and just hang out, so... It's always fun to, to pick these games up. Because they're nostalgic to me, you know? Did this ninja almost go smooth? You know, that would have been a clutch line. I don't know if this game predates smooth, though. You'd think with 500 years of practice, I could play a decent game of poker. Gamble all day, gamble all night. It's tough to earn a dishonest living, you know. It's true. This guy really wanted to sell me not just one drink, but multiple drinks. What? As an animal, I don't need equipment. What am I doing here? I just like to gloat. Can I not do any- can I not buy anything because it's, uh, nighttime? Oh, I'm gonna get an ally! Someone was Final Fantasy inspired? I think so. If 
the stars are shining brightly tonight. I hope it is a good omen that we will soon be rid of the humans forever. Probably. Oh, she's sleeping. Saying it in, good, in a good way? For sure, for sure. Back when this was, town was an uninhabited... Uh, back when this town was inhabited by humans, I was a guard. Now that it's run by monsters, I'm still a guard. Some people just can't win for losing. Alright. Hello. It may, n it may not be a pigsty, but it's home. <laughs> see. Okay. We'll come back. Don't knock RPG Maker games until you try to make one true that. And even when you make them, don't knock them. Study is essential if one practices magic. Okay, Warlock. Thank you. Just make a game. Oh, I robbed this dude of twenty dollars. Knock them all. That's the king of knocking. Uh, is the is probably the only one I'll I'll allow to say that. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Get out of here. I like this. Oh, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that I can walk on the bushes. Go to the monster. I what? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, we didn't find the dude. We didn't find the dude in Darkwood. Maybe we have to visit. Maybe we have to visit him at uh. On the daytime. Someone didn't check their tile markings. What? Oh, I'm broke. Oh, I'm short five dollars. Please, sir. Uh. Dang. That's one way to do it. To be fair with having a lot of tiles, that can be difficult. Especially when you have, yeah, when you're making all kinds of maps and stuff. Do I have to do this in the daytime? Wouldn't it make sense to be in Darkwood at night time? Humans and monsters can coexist, but only if the humans are evil enough. Looking for Blue Flame, his lair is in the cave. He doesn't have much care for visitors, though. You'll have to solve whatever puzzle he has set up to deter visitors today. <laughs> what up, Guiding Coin? Do you wish to leave Darkwood? Yes. Currently making somewhat of a Slay the Spire map style thing for my dungeons. Nice! Oh, that's a cool idea. I played Slay the Spire recently for the first time and I thought that game was fantastic. I love Inscription though, which kind of like has a similar vibe, but wow. Nice. I'll be working on my game if I could actually use my mon monitor on my new Mac. Oh crap. How am I? I'm good, dude. Good to see you, coin. Hope you've been well, homie. Waiting for USB-C adapter? Oh! Oh. Well, I'm hoping that that will come to you soon. This is like that Pokemon game, but worse. <laughs> the Pokemon minigame. The Flash is pretty dumb. Oh, look, this is a circle. The project I've been on lately is, is trying to find games and concepts that don't do stuff like this. Uh... That one Pokemon gym. Oh crap, that was the wrong one. It was the middle one. Or maybe it... No, it certainly was. Damn. Why is it flashing? Ugh. <laughs> now I, we gotta solve it. We gotta solve it. Flashing white, dude. <laughs> Feel free to mute the stream or mute. <laughs> Feel free to mute the stream. That'll stop it. My retinas. My begonias. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god, no. 
Flashing is a bit too much. I agree. Don't mind a black flashing color? Yeah. The whole thing is a bit much. <laughs> this game came out like- this is like made in like 2000. Uh, I'm gonna make one last attempt. I feel like we gotta go up. Fuck, that's wrong. You bastard. So this isn't Undertale reference? Oh hell no. This is just RPG Maker 2000. So not MV? Yeah, they did their best. <laughs> did Undertale copy this? You know? You know, maybe some compensation, maybe some financial compensation is owed. I can only ever think of Vampire's Dawn. Oh. Shit, what is this? What is this? What is going on here? Ah, you. Alright. I think, uh. I think we've given it to Bob and his big adventure. <laughs> Do you wish to leave? Yeah, fuck Blue Flame. I'm coming back, uh, never. Cause I bet none of these guys have a clue. I want one to just tell me the, the puzzle. <laughs> Having the time of my life with that game back in the day? Me too, man. I actually really liked that one. And I cheated in that one too. I made myself like level 99. I would like skip events. I would like just like start position in random maps and like see how it worked. I tried to summon a dragon, but all I got was a hatchling. Yo, look how cute it is though. Run his test play and hold control to skip the BS. Oh yeah, for sure. Never finished it, did cheat. Respect. I tried to play it on stream not too long ago, but then I got lost. And I'm sure there's like a guide somewhere online, but... Alright, let's see. Castle battles? Uh, true. Place it full of humans. Going in there might be a bad idea. Let's go, dude. Oh, no. Oh! I got slammed. A bunch of Deluji references. This is my predecessor, brother. These graphics have been around for as long as some people like some people that I've whose games I've played are are significantly younger than these graphics. What is R RPG Maker grab bag? What's the selection process like? I just pick a bunch of games. I try to go on, usually I will try and go on um, itch.io and like places and R RMN and stuff and try and find new games that are coming out and try to like showcase games. Uh, but a lot of time as well, there's so much old stuff that it's really fun to find it and see like, you know, how inferior those games are compared to now, you know, like see what's out there. Sometimes you suffer, sometimes we play some crap, but it's like, it's pretty neat, because all of it has history and all kind of, you know, the fact that it still exists means that, like, it's nice to be able to preserve some of it. Because I played this as a kid, you know? But also, like, stuff's coming out all the time, people are making games all the time. Alright. With that, though, I do think that is enough of Bob's Big Adventure. Um, so cheers to that game. It exists. Uh, but I have a ton, I have a ton, dude, of old stuff that's just, like, asking to be checked out and found. Old RM games are a different caliber, I feel. Uh, play, like, MV games and you're getting trashed, like, most of the time. It, the, the, I think that the vibes changed a lot, but, you know. Um, but I will be back right, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break and grab a drink, and, uh, we'll keep going. Um, I'll be back in, like, two minutes. Beep.
All right, all right. Okay, so up next, let me see what else I got here. Let me just... Mm, <laughs> some of these things, I do wonder if we'll find anything kind of questionable. What is this? Oh, this is a... Uh, I meant, oh, this is an XP game. Oh, it didn't, it didn't work. Never mind. Um, I can play 2K and 2K3 games because, you know, we have that. This is called Chrono Crisis. Do we think it's a Chrono Trigger fan game? Oh, great tune. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> I wonder how old it is. Um, did the flashing puzzle kill Bob? That's what we're gonna say. There was no way I could I could keep doing that because it was just not comfortable to look at. But I have an infinite amount of games, so I have a never-ending collection of games. Chrono Crisis. It's Chrono in his midlife crisis. True. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course, it's going to have, like, all the sound effects. Are you silly? This is going to be great. This has got to be old as heck. I'm pretty sure this is from uh, 2005. So. Chrono Trigger from Wish. Exactly, bro. This is Chrono Crisis. Oh. Well, Chrono... T <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> We wanted it to be over. We gave the world a bright new future. But this game hit adulthood. Corona Rice Fists, even though we saved countless lives, we also erased just as many from existence. We have Corona Trigger. We have Chrono Trigger at home. <laughs> Chrono Trigger at home. <laughs> what we did was right, wasn't it? Ugh. What if it wasn't? <laughs> That's a good question. We never thought about the darker side of what we did. <laughs> Why did it It somehow... But we knew that it was far from over. Who's, whose perspective are we hearing right now? <laughs> That's not how it swings. After defeating the extraterrestrial life form Lavas and saving the world from... Dude, this spoilers. Chrono, Nadia, Luca, and the others celebrated their great victory. Um, her name is Marl. But suddenly, another adventure began as Chrono's mother disappeared into a time gate. What starts out as another lighthearted adventure slowly turns into a race to... Save time and space itself from being completely destroyed by a mysterious new villain. When the Epoch takes Chrono, uh, Nadia, and Luca to 601 AD specifically, they discover that maybe, just maybe, they've been rewriting history the way it was meant to be written. <laughs> At the same time, they know- okay. Okay, that they're manipulating time for their own benefit. Uh, when they arrive in 601 AD, thanks to the E, e I think it's I think it's actually pronounced epic, but I've been saying epoch since I was a kid, and I've broken my brain. Yo, 420 AD. All right, I'm missing this story now. <laughs> uh, they're bringing peace. Soon discover. The time is a very delicate thing. <laughs> they didn't discover that the the first game, so they do in this in this prologue for the second game here, Chrono Crisis. Also, in the it's canon that the music restarts. <laughs> Go back in time, get Chrono's mom. Oh. About time you slowed down. Where are you taking us anyway? 
I'm not taking us anywhere. The Epic's driving itself. It's like it knows where Chrono's mom is. Is that possible? The Epic's going into warp mode. I wonder where it's going to take us. Who knows? Let's just hope we find Chrono's mom.